Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I've got a unique situation and I just wanted to hurry up and get it on video so that you guys could see something that doesn't happen very often, but when it does it seems to confuse a lot of technicians. So this is a perfect example of it in real time with a real piece of medical equipment. Now what I have here is a DC power supply for these GE touchscreen monitors and it's rated at 12 volts 4.2 amps and as you can see on the meter it's given out 12.24 volts DC the monitor is not powering on now I verified uh, power connection there's there's definitely voltage at the end of the cable and there is video signal if we have video signal and we have power it should turn on right well in this case no one of the misconceptions is just because you have voltage does not mean you have amperage see it's rated for 4.2 amps which means this thing sucks a lot of juice you can see right here for those that are a little more astute to power supplies you see two of these output capacitors they're already bubbling out which means they're going bad this little guy right here it's also starting to go bad so we have our 120 volts coming in we got 12.2 volts coming out and I have a green LED on the display so the green LED means it's got everything it needs to turn on and in fact if I disconnect the video signal the green LED will turn to an amber LED and the monitor will go into a sleep mode now I've taken this display and I've moved it to other rooms and it worked just fine so the display is okay my video signal is okay because I've hooked it up to other monitors and they come on just fine but the problem is the power supply. See, it's got the 12.24 volts, but it obviously doesn't live up to its 4.2 amps. I could put this in line with the DC out, and I could measure the amperage it's kicking out. But it's clearly not enough to turn the display on, and a lot of technicians will ship the display out to the manufacturer because they think that's the problem. Well, power supplies have a life expectancy. These electrolytic capacitors, they have a life expectancy. And you can see here that they're starting to bubble out and they're starting to leak, which means they are at the end of their life. Now, I could repair this power supply by changing out those capacitors. That's kind of an easy fix and it can be done pretty quickly, but it's going to be a more universal problem across the system. See, as these power supplies get old, they'll all start leaking and they'll all start having issues meeting their amperage quota. So here I have a display it's not turned on, power supply has voltage, it's not kicking out enough amperage so as soon as this guy gets its video signal it wants to excite those high voltage backlights and it wants to power up that display board it just doesn't have enough juice to do it so I just wanted to hurry up and get this on video show you guys what's going on it's kind of a rare situation but this is going to be a problem that's going to affect the whole entire hospital if these devices are about the same age so there you go guys, perfect example. Just because you have voltage does not mean you have amperage to power the device. So there you guys go, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.